it's Friday, um, February 18th, and I'm about to head to the hospital so I can be induced. Um, so I'm expecting my baby to come anytime today, maybe later, or tomorrow, or Sunday, but I'm hoping not Sunday. Um, definitely either today or tomorrow. Um, we were a little caught off guard by this because we weren't expecting the baby until March 11th and nothing had happened throughout my pregnancy to make me feel like I was going to have the baby early. But I did have a gut feeling that I wasn't going to make it to March 11th. I just prayed that, you know, he would come when he's full term, which he is. And I thank God because I'm 37 weeks in a few days. Um, but yeah, so we were told on Tuesday that I would be induced, um, most likely today, which is Friday, um, because they found some protein in my urine and I also had elevated blood pressure, which equals preeclampsia. And even though I didn't, I didn't technically have it, but I was hyper something, something, something. I don't remember the term, but yeah, and I was on the verge. So in order for them to avoid me actually getting it, um, especially since I am full term already, they told me that they will induce the labor just so baby and I are safe. So we are about to... <laughs> We're gonna have a baby. <laughs> I know, it's so unreal. It's if, it, babe, you messed up my hair. Um. It's so unreal, like I'm in total shock. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm about to be a mom this way. I'm already a mom, but like I'm gonna hold my baby physically in my hands. I'm so excited. I literally cannot wait. Um, I am a little nervous because I've heard all the stories, but everyone has a different story and I don't really know exactly what to expect. Uh, my husband just went out to put the stuff in the car. But I pray and I'm, I am I prayed already and I trust God, you know, and I always believe nothing happens for everything happens for a reason. I mean, and also, you know, God knew exactly what he was doing when he made this baby to come a little early. So I'm just going to trust him and let his will be done. And yeah, I look super pregnant at this point. Like, whoa, <laughs> my face is like full and chubby. Uh, my stomach is huge, so big, and it grew out of nowhere. It grew out of nowhere, really. Um, for the first, I would say like seven, yeah, like six, seven months, my belly was pretty small. My family kept saying, oh my gosh, your stomach is not even that big. And then boom, out of nowhere, it just expanded. But yeah, little man is very active, so I'm praying that he'll help mommy through this labor. He'll come, you know, I'll start contracting early enough, you know, and everything will go smoothly. So, yeah, I'm so excited to meet my son. I can't believe I'm going to be a boy mom. Wow. Um, but, yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated. And it looks like it's pouring out right now. Is it really? Is it raining? Oh, wow. Yeah. I can hear the, the rain. Anyway, guys, I'll be back and we'll keep you guys updated so those are our bags we are all packed and ready to go mine is on the far end my husband's in the middle and the baby's car seat um he has a bag because obviously it's covid he's not allowed to leave the hospital and come back um so we just packed him a bag just so he has everything that he needs as well we have some snacks as well so we should be all set um I think anything else we need, the hospital will give us. But pretty much, I have everything that I am aware to pack. My husband made me breakfast. I have a egg avocado, egg and avocado sandwich, um, some strawberries, blood orange. They did tell me to eat, so the baby's active. Um, so I'm about to eat, and then we can be on the way. I live two, literally two minutes away from the hospital, which is so great because I don't have to rush or be in a hurry since I'm pretty much on time. Um, so yeah, I'm about to eat and then we'll get going.
going to check in with our i feel like we're moving into the hospital <laughs> so this is our room guys it's actually really big and spacious so much space the bathroom is over there the pull out couch for daddy me over here another couch yeah i'm impressed it's actually really big very spacious too baby's car seat our bags so i'm about to change get comfortable a little bit and then i think oh lord they'll start the process <laughs> oh i'm super super nervous now that i'm here but i know god is in control he brought me this far and he'll see me through in jesus name so i'm here they got me my blood pressure cord hooked up so far pressure's looking good um and they're also monitoring the baby's heartbeat and his movements and i did start contracting a few days ago and my contractions are speeding up actually when i was at the emergency room on tuesday monday they told me that i was contracting every three to five minutes um but they got stronger over the last couple of days so even though i'm being induced my contractions already started so i'm praying that will help speed up the process and that baby will come out naturally fingers crossed so things are a little slow right now i haven't started the iv yet um they took off the monitor because the baby heart rate looks good I am contracting every two to four minutes, which is good because, you know, once I do get induced, hopefully that'll speed up the process. Um, I'm just waiting now for the doctor to come in and check my cervix and see if I started dilating on my own um, and then they'll figure out what to do from there. So yeah, meanwhile, baby daddy is chilling in the corner over there and I'm enjoying the hospital ice so good. Hey guys, so it's about 2.19. Um, I've been here for roughly, mm, how long do you think? I lost track of time. We got here around eight something. Um, but I mean, by the time we got in the room, settled down and all that stuff, it was probably close to nine. So yeah, nine. 10 11 12 1 2 so about five hours um the doctor came in already he explained the whole process to me um with the induction um he told me everything i needed to know um he was very funny which i like i mean i've met him i've talked to him over the phone but i've never met him personally um only because i think the few times i was scheduled to meet with him because the practice that I go to, they have about five doctors, and I met every single one of them but him. Um, but yeah, the two or one time I was scheduled with him, something happened that we had to reschedule. So I never got to meet him physically, but I did talk to him over the phone, and he was just as nice. So I'm glad I finally got to meet him in person. But yeah, so they gave me the first dose um, of the medication they're giving me pills instead of IV um, I think I don't know if it has to do with the fact that I was contracting already um, and they didn't want to give me a high dosage so they've just been monitoring well they monitored my own contractions for a while before giving deciding on what dose to give me so they gave me the first dose already and I just felt a lot of tightening in my lower pelvic area which obviously is normal because it helps to thin your cervix and also to help with contractions um, so the contractions come as your cervix open um, and also thin out um, but yeah that's where i'm at so far um, i might be here for a couple of days <laughs> 
because this is my first child and usually first time moms um, induction takes a, lo a little longer than second or third time moms so yeah just giving you guys a little update I'll be back later to tell y'all how it goes I should be getting my second dose very soon I just ate so um, usually they said when when they give it to me I have to wait two hours before eating so I waited two hours I ate my lunch and now I'm about to get my second dose very very soon so I'll be back to tell you guys how it's going but so far so good peace out at this point, I had taken my second dose and I was starting to cramp up really, really, really bad um, by laying down. So I decided to get up and just walk around the room a little bit, listen to some gospel music to calm my spirit. And the nurses told me that if I walk around instead of just laying down, it would be better for me and the baby because it will help with the contractions and also it will help the baby to drop lower into my pelvic. So I took every advice I could take from the nurses and I did it. And I also, you know, YouTube looked on YouTube and I got some um, advice from other mothers who had gone through this process as well. So I did everything I could to make this process easier for me. Um, when they told me this process could take a while, I didn't realize how exhausting it actually is. So I've been here for about a day and a half now it's just about one o'clock here and i came in yesterday at nine no eight thirty six a.m um so they've now given me my fourth dose um and i am contracting my cervix is thinning but it's still closed so they can't really break my water or do anything else until my cervix is open because um, I can't go into active delivery or active labor I mean um, until my cervix is fully open so um, they're allowing my body to do some of that on its own and also giving me the medication to help before um, giving me the pitocin to start the active labor but I am exhausted <laughs> I'm so tired Ah, uh, the cramps, the aches. I am, uh, I didn't realize how tiring this would be. And I'm hoping that today will be my last day up here. So I can go have the baby and go downstairs tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Hi, this is daddy. I'm here. Just chilling with mommy, trying to do what I can. Massaging, being an assistant nurse. Whatever mommy needs me to do, I'm taking a break from my massage right now. But we're here, we're anxious, anticipating, waiting. You can't wait to be little man. We're getting there, right, mommy? Mm -hmm. You're still being nice to daddy? Yeah. We're still getting along? Yep. High five. We got this. We'll see you soon, baby boy. So today is Sunday, my third day here. They finally broke my water this morning. Um, the doctor came in and said I started to dial it. I was about a centimeter. Well, actually, I was around two centimeters when he broke my water. Um, and also, my cervix had thinned out about 50%, which is good. Um, I broke down this morning. I literally broke down. I felt like I was going through all this pain and nothing was happening. And I cried. So, it was just so refreshing to come in to, you know, have the... Oh, to have the doctor come in and tell me that you know my body had made some progress because I felt like I felt like it was doing nothing and I was going nowhere with it but yeah it felt good and reassuring to know that I was making progress oh my gosh 
Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. This contractions are no joke. Um, but yeah, my contractions are coming in now very frequently. Um, and also stronger, longer, which is good. Ah, so I'm here um, managing so far. I'll, I'll be back to update you guys. Ooh. Okay. We made some great progress this morning. They just broke mommy's water. How you feeling, mommy? Thumbs up, feeling good? Yeah, I feel okay. Feel okay, so we're trying to have some breakfast, get some energy. Ooh. We have a long day ahead. Ooh. They are about to give her some Pitocin, which is gonna help the contractions, Ooh. induce the contractions closer together. And hopefully within the next several hours, we will be pushing for a baby. Yay. All this pain is gonna be worth it soon enough. What are we having for breakfast? Omelet and some French toast, orange juice. We're gonna finish breakfast and let the nurses come back in so they can start administering the Pitocin and try to get ready for the day. At this point, a few hours had gone by since I started the Pitocin and let's just say the pain was intense. Like I literally didn't want to let out my breath because I felt like if I did, I would die. Like I wanted to just stop breathing. It was so bad, guys. It was so bad. We even had to stop recording at some point because I kept crying. I was shaking like, you know, it was just really, really bad. Can you see? Well, Dr. Yeah, Dr. Allen's gonna come. Here. Can you see it? See, breath. Push, 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 push. That's his head. 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 Nice. Yeah, pull, oh, your, pull your legs from here. Yes, because you're, you're fighting. Here we go. Deeper. Yes. There you it see? is. There it is. Wow. Nice. You see his head? Good job. You see all that hair? <laughs> Wanna push again? All right, here we go. Wow, Deep he's in. coming. He's That's coming. Oh, oh, my gosh. Gosh. You're doing right. good, baby. You're doing good. You're going to feel you're a lot of burning good. and pressure. Just push right through and it will be done. You're doing good, mama. Okay? okay? You're doing good, baby. Stay in control. Okay. You're doing you're, good, mama. You're doing so well. You're doing good. You got this, okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh. This is like the third contraction. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Caleb whoa, let's ready. go back to that's who's causing all that pain and pressure. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> I'm so tired. Yeah, almost, almost done. Almost there, baby. Almost done. Yeah, you can be. That's fine. I feel one. I feel one. I feel one. Alright, let's do it. Okay, take a deep breath. And Here push. Go. There you long go. and consistent. There you go. Long there you go. and consistent. That's Good job, it. Baby. Good job. Good job, baby. Good job, baby. Almost there. Good job. Good job. Nice. Good job. One more. Deep breath. Good job. Hey, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. You're almost there, baby. You're almost there. You get him up, 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 get him up. Almost there. Almost there. Uh, after so many hours, my baby is finally here. We did it, Caleb and Daddy. <laughs> but I'm so excited. 
I'm exhausted, but it was all worth it because he is absolutely perfect and I love him so much. I just want to thank God for taking me through my delivery, safe and sound, no complications. It was definitely the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, but I decided to do it natural and I thank God for the strength. I'm also very, very happy with the nurses and the doctor that I had. They were all super kind. All three days that I stayed in the hospital, I had great nurses. They gave me a lot of useful tips um, throughout the delivery process. So yeah, I'm really happy with them and my experience at Low General Hospital. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also go ahead and hit that notification button so whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified to come on over and watch. Thank you and look at my baby.